What's going on, guys? Thanks for stopping by. This is Alan with Hernandez Affordable Products. On today's video, guys, I'm going to be doing a review on an amazing Samsung Smart TV. And as I always do, guys, I want to give you an unboxing experience of this product. We're going to be talking about the Samsung AU8000. This is the crystal UHD 50 inch. They have them in different sizes, of course. As we always do, I'm going to also go ahead and walk through the first impressions of the design of the product. And we're going to go ahead and wrap it up towards the end on the specifications. Before we get started, guys, as we always do, give this video a thumbs up during or after the video if you like the, the product and if you like the video. Also, any comments, any questions, please post those below the video. And more important than anything, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please do that right now. And if you like to be notified of upcoming videos, make sure to hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on upcoming products that I'm going to be reviewing. Let's go ahead and jump right in, guys, and show you this smart TV. And hopefully, if you like it, and if you're shopping for one, you can go ahead and get one for yourself. Once you open it, you're going to have several things right on the box here. It looks like we have one of our legs here. And then it looks like we have a second leg right there. We should be able to basically get this out of here. I'll show you. As is, just leave it basically, right? Get that out. And then on the other back side of the phone here, it looks like we have our manual and our cables and whatnot, so get that stuff out. Do it in the very edge, so nothing breaks. The TV is not really gonna be touching on the edge of the box. Do the other side. And then we can kinda of just slide it out like this. And then there's gonna be our TV. And even from here, I can just get it out of the phone Get it out of the box. Gently lay it down. All right. And then we'll go ahead and get our foam out of here while holding the screen very gently. Show you really quick. Right, so this leg are very special. We're gonna basically slide it in on the back of the TV. We're just gonna slide it in and it's gonna snap in place. I'll show you. Go ahead and lift this up just a bit. And then we'll slide it like this. I don't touch the TV much. Right? See that? Get the box and stuff out of the way. This is very straightforward. I'm just going to, you know, get it out of the way here. I'll show you really quick in case you're... You're wondering what now? Well, pretty quick. Watch this. You know, before I put it on my stand, I'm going to give you a walkthrough of it. We're going to go ahead and talk about the design, but I'm just going to grab it here really quick. Always to the side, right? Take it off your box. All right, guys. So here we are. Let's go ahead and do a walk around the TV really quick just to we get a, a feel for it. I'm going to stand it up, of course. Legs look great. It's got the Samsung logo on there with the multi-function button right underneath. Then we have our other leg right here. Right? It's got a nice seamless look to it like it's part of it. Overall, the thickness of this, this is a very ultra thin, slim-like design. Now, the back characteristics on this is elegant too. It's got this... Aluminum finish almost it's plastic of course But it's got these these stripes if you can see that all through the back and you see these characteristics on some of the newer designs Let's go ahead and look at some of the uh, design options here on the back really quick We can see that we have the option to mount it on the wall. It's got those Holes on the back. That's really good to see the legs got a great connection on the back there. It's, it's almost like it's part of it. 
right? You don't see anything, just slide in nicely. It's got this strap, uh, lines, this, this gap, this spacing design all throughout the back. That's pretty cool. Let's look over on this side really quick, uh, what we're working with. Same idea. This part of the design kind of continues all to the end. And it starts very small here. And then it gets deeper as you go. I don't see anything like a vent opening or anything like that for that purpose. But it's there, I guess, for characteristics. Now, on the back here, we have your typical connection. We have USB... Um, Connection, it looks like there's two of them. And then there is three HDMI. We have an Ethernet connection as well and an add-on, an antenna-like connection for cable and whatnot. And then, of course, we have our power plug on that side. It's got a nice, clean look to the back of the product. The remote control on this is pretty unique. It's got a several buttons but each of them have multiple functions I kind of figured out just a few of them and we press the home button here we can see all the different apps and we can switch between source right searching and whatnot so let me go ahead and choose source and then back to TV for example so this is going to bring in the Samsung TV Plus application and then we click the home button again and then we can switch to whichever other app we have installed manually of course but if you press one of these bottom buttons here that's already on the remote like Netflix for example right it loads it right away then the same if we do Prime it's going to load Amazon Prime right away as well. And then, of course, Samsung TV Plus, which is now um, on the new TV models. They are including that TV service, which is, you know, news and shows and movies completely free for all Samsung customers. Uh, let me go ahead and go back to Amazon Prime here. Choose a profile. I have several created for me and the family and stuff and so you can see the color quality on this is elegant really looks great i haven't really touched anything on the settings side on the video picture side or anything just connected all the accounts and you can play with that make sure you log into all your services and um, go from there but i uh, really like that crystal clear uh, glass-like look to the display this is ultra HD of course 4k resolution so I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick uh, let's see let's do a preview really quick on one of these uh, let's do the new one here that one I believe this is gonna be in the high definition range so let's do a preview really quick and from side view uh, on a screen like this, you can still see it. Let's wait for that to load up. Right? Very sharp. And from the center too. Wait for it to start loading. The Vampire and Lycan clans have been at war oh, for yeah. centuries. I can shut off the lights, but you know, just to give you a visual. So if we come to the side here. Same idea. It's got a dual surround system, almost, you know, uh, speaker sound to it. Right now it's at 50%, it's not at 100%. Now if I press the home button, it's going to bring up the apps menu while the movie show, whatever you're watching, is still playing in the background. And if we hit the back button here, that's going to obviously be your back button effect. There you go. One of the unique things that this model has is that 5G uh, Wi-Fi connection, which is going to be faster. So if you have a pretty decent internet connection, it's going to be streaming and pulling pretty quickly. Let me show you something about the uh, features here that I didn't point out initially, but I figured out what it was for. Remember those lines, those gaps, the spacing in the back here? Well, what it is, 
is for you to run the cable either through the right side or down to the left side. And it comes with this little hooks for you to run the cable into it makes it a little cleaner back here and you have another one over on that side as well if you want to run the cable something else too to keep in mind if you're connecting like say a wireless keyboard like this using your uh, usb connection you'll see that on the back here uh, which i have my usb adapter receiver if you will that works great when searching for movies or shows or, or even logging into your accounts makes things a bit quicker instead of having to you know use the controller uh the remote basically to type in every letter one by one if we click on this mic button here it's right now not set up yet that's going to enable your uh, voice assistant, right? Google, Bixby, or uh, uh, Amazon Alexa, etc. And so you can use one of those and then speak to it to open something. You see? It's telling me right now I need to sign in. I have not yet configured that, but you can play with it and do that yourself. That's one of the unique things that I really liked about it. It has that built into it. Anytime you press the home button, it brings up all the apps, of course, but then if you scroll down, now you're into the Samsung TV service where you can sort of, uh, you know, scroll through like Netflix and Prime, but Samsung's now doing that built in and preloaded with all Samsung products like smartphones and TVs and whatnot, tablets, so that you can get just, you know, more value with your device. I really like that. Um, another thing that I also notice is that this button right here where, where the plus is either mutes the TV or you can do up and down on the volume using this one button on the left side. So it's got a multi-function uh, feature to it. This one on the right side, let's say I'm inside the, uh, you know, let's say Samsung TV Plus service, I can scroll up and down with this button here. See, it brings up like the guide, if you will, right? So I can switch the channel or the particular movie or show that you have it on, as you can see here. That's also cool. Let's go ahead and pull up uh, Netflix here. It's very, uh, you know, responsive as far as like switching in between apps. Definitely, you know, switches back and forth pretty quickly. Show you really quick before I do a preview on this. Well, Netflix now, I'm going to go over to Prime. Boom. There it is. If I go over to Samsung TV and it's the same with all the other apps. Very, very responsive. Remember, it's got that um, crystal uh, processor uh, on there, which supposedly is one of the newest uh, from Samsung. Go ahead and back to Netflix here. Uh, this looks to be one of those uh, new movies on Netflix. They're pretty, they're, they're, they're stepping up. They're, they're really stepping up. Let's do uh, this preview here and see what it looks like. It's loading. Ready. That was fast. Again, we're connected on the 5G. Right now, this is pulling 4K resolution. You can even see that. And this supports everything. You see HBO Max, ne um, Disney, uh, all the other, you know, pretty much all the latest apps. Hulu, everything else is going to be preloaded on the TV. But you can also download those apps that you want from the App Store right on the TV. So let's say I have this app open. Right, let's pretend for a minute. I'm going to do a first impression test here really quick and it's open i'm done using it and i'm just gonna hit the power button straight away shuts off but then sometime later i want to get back on it let's see if it leaves it right on that app or if it goes to the home screen it's back on amazon prime that is a cool feature what it's basically doing is that it's remembering your behavior your usage right your last activity if you will right what was the last thing you did and it brings you back to that kind of like where you left off in a sense something to 
look at right in front of you, it does have that dim um, feature after a couple of seconds or a minute, I don't know how long uh, really is that, but and I'm sure you can go into the settings and mess with it, uh, but if not, it's automatically built into it. If you're not touching the TV, it sort of dims a bit so that it's not so bright. HDR was definitely one of those uh, features that I like, right? Expand the range of color for richer detail that goes beyond HD TV. Definitely a feature, especially so you can see on the right side here, I'm going to be using it uh, with my Xbox One. And so there's going to be uh, devices that would use that HDR feature, really enhances the overall picture quality. Um, the Crystal processor is a 4K, basically an ultra fast processor that transforms what you watch to stunning 4K. Let's see what else is important to keep in mind. This is 60 hertz. So that's pretty responsive too. That I wonder why it's going very, very quickly. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's jumping from one app in, uh, to the other very fast. The 60 hertz really makes everything the fastest it can be um, overall. Uh, this is going to be, and, and I mentioned this earlier when we started, is the Air Slim is what they're calling it. Sleek and slim with the minimalist details to enhance your space. Um, there's another feature here to keep in mind too, 4K UHD upscaling. This is a plus. Instantly transforms everything you watch to 4K. Also, which I also like this, and I personally use it, and this TV will support that, would be the PC on TV feature. What that is is that it comes already with built-in mirroring and uh, connectivity options where, for example, if you're on your tablet, your phone, uh, your computer, whatever, you can send a signal to the TV to see what you're doing on that device on the big screen without cables. We did talk about the multiple voice assistants. So whether or not you can choose one or the other or set up all three, I don't know. I have not yet looked into that definitely play with that option because that's going to be a plus to be able to just speak to it rather than you know manually do something with it lastly dynamic crystal color that's one of the enhanced features of this new 2021 model was the immerse yourself in lifelike pictures right with uh Shades of color unleashed by next level UHD dynamic crystal technology. Overall, I think it's a great upgrade. It's a great price point product. If you're interested, look at the uh, links that I will put on the video description. And if you're watching this on my Hernandez Affordable Products uh, dot com website, just scroll down or above the video, you'll have the products that I recommend. So. Get it for yourself. Thanks for watching. Uh, as always, uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you have not. Subscribe on my website for the product's newsletter. And post any comments, questions uh, below the video, below the post. And I'll engage with you. Give the video a thumbs up, like it, share it. And I look forward to my next one.